G'day everyone, Ali here. Well, I'm super excited. Uh, just recently, I purchased this die and stamp set from Paper Roses, which is an Australian company, and I received this in the mail uh, not long ago. So, all up, uh, this cost about $54, and that was for the stamps, the dies, and postage. But why I'm excited is this is Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. Now, um, most Australian kids that were born probably pre 1970s, 1980s, maybe even now, I'm not sure, would have heard of Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. Now, it's by an author. Uh, named May Gibbs, who migrated from the UK when she was four. Okay, so she actually grew up to see the Australian flora and fauna. Now, the stamps actually come with gumnut babies, so a big image and a smaller image, a gumnut and a gum leaf, a beautiful sentiment, and some butterflies. So the dies the, um, came in a set of three. So you've got the bigger image for the gumnut babies, the smaller image for the gumnut babies, and the die for the gumnut and the gum leaf. Okay, so as I said, I was super excited um, to get this because when I was a kid, my mum would come in at night and read to us snuggle pot and cuddle pie so absolutely gorgeous so if you haven't heard of snuggle pot and cuddle pie before i'll just show you this is a book that i got last year from my mum and dad and when i got this book i cried i was so excited it took me back to my childhood but i wanted to show you the images that may gibb had created so this is a beautiful book um, here so look at that isn't that so cute <laughs> um, so it's all about the Australian animals as well so just do a bit of a flip through just so you can see so we've got the Banksia men now Banksia is a tree out here at Australian native so May Gibbs created a Banksia man who is the baddies who would take the gum nuts so and then all the animals would um, help protect the gum nuts from the Banksia men so look at that absolutely gorgeous so and it was all based on animals as well. So you can see the kangaroos and the wallabies, the koalas, little platypuses, even um, the kookaburras you can see there. So and these are images that stick with you or they will stick with me for the rest of my life. So Nutty Bub plays billiards. So there were characters uh, in the book here. So I just did want to just show you what the images were about, especially if you're not um, or you haven't heard of Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. So absolutely gorgeous. So it was a great children's book um, to have. I know, uh, I'm not sure where my book is. Uh, it was a blue book with Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie with a lot of coloured images in there. Um, and I think my sister might have it. So see if she has still got it. Gumnut Babies, isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous image. So uh, May Gibb 
passed away in 1969 and she did leave her uh, copyright royalties to two companies, so the Northcott Society and the Cerebral Palsy Alliance, which um, I was just amazed at. Now, I will link the May Gibbs website down below. Check it out. It is awesome. Uh, I'll also leave the website down below for Paper Roses, uh, and they have a lot of brilliant uh, stamps and dies also. So I'm going to get cracking and create some snuggle pot and cuddle pie images that I will probably put in um, cards. I might even do a tag up uh, with them as well. So let's get cracking. So first of all I'm stamping these beautiful images onto some distress watercolour cardstock and I'm using my tonic platform to assist me with this. So the ink that I am using is VersaFine Black Onyx ink and I'm also clear embossing it with the Superfine clear embossing powder by Ranger. So I'm just heat setting that now. So my thought around this is because I'm going to use watercolour paint I want the paint to actually stay within the lines so that's why I'm clear embossing it. I'm not really good at colouring in as well especially with watercolour it's something that I don't use a lot of so I thought I would just give it a go today but I'm also going to use some Prismacolor pencils as well so just stamping all my images out and clear embossing them and then I'll start colouring them in. So the watercolour palettes here are from Kmart and they're only cheap watercolour paints because um, as I mentioned uh, it's something that I haven't really done a lot of and before buying something um, of good quality I did really want to try it out first on a cheap product. So but these watercolour paints from Kmart are quite good actually. So what I'm doing is I've got a water pen filled with water. Um, I have sprayed the images just with a fine mist and I've got my watercolour pen here picking up colour as well. So it's not going to have any harsh brush strokes but it's going to blend on the card really, really well. So I'm just colouring that in. Uh, with this uh, watercolour pen and this watercolour pen I've just picked up as well cheap just online at AliExpress so because once again uh, I was just wanting to just see what it was like. So here you can see that I'm colouring in the gum nut babies and I'm sort of trying to blend some oranges, pinks with some whites just to tone it down a bit because I don't want them bright pink or bright orange they're babies so I'm just trying to blend that in so I found that stamping with the VersaFine ink and then using the embossing powder is able to assist with keeping the colours in between the line and it's very forgiving and I'm just going to use my heat gun here just to dry them all off so now I'm going to use my Prismacolor pencils just to colour in this last image and as I mentioned with the clear embossing it does assist you in staying in the lines and it's very forgiving. So I'm just colouring my images and then I'll use my odorless solvent to blend it out with a blending tool. So when you're using this solvent uh, make sure that you are in a well ventilated area. I did buy the stamps and the dies. Uh, 
they are sold separately from Paper Rose, but I do like purchasing the dies with stamps. It uh, just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna cut these out using my Kayser Craft die cutting machine. trick here with dies that cut uh, with a white border around the image what I do is I've got a mask here that I've already cut out previously with the same die and I maneuver it over the stamped image that I want to cut and I can see the white border around the image now when I'm happy with that I'm just going to use my stapler this is my Tim Holtz stapler here just to staple that mask into place. So once I've done that, I've got the die here that I can slip into the empty space on my mask. And when I'm happy with it, I can just stick that down with some low tack tape or washi tape. And then I can pop that through my die cutting machine. As you can see, it leaves a perfect white border around the stamped image. So I hope you've enjoyed this gum nut journey with me today. If you have, please give me your thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to check out the May Gibbs and Paper Roses website down below. And until next time, giving gum nut hugs to you all. See ya.